sitting is a big societal thing for us here. We do it for work, TV time, staying cozy, fun. We spend a lot of time on our bums. But the trouble with that is that our muscles just aren't active in that position. So when we start jumping up to go run or exercise or do fun things, our muscles are just a little sleepy and we aren't really ready, which makes us a little bit more prone to injury. Here's two great drills to get some of your major movers turned on and ready to help you complete the activity of your choice. So if you have one of these hip circles or hip bands, a little bit of resistance to add around the tops of the knees, it just enhances the movement. If you don't, still a great exercise, don't worry about it. But placement's gonna be just above the kneecaps and the work is gonna be pushing out against this band throughout the movement. So ideal setup of this glute extension lift is for your surface to be right at about the bottom of your shoulder blades. If you don't have the ideal setup, don't worry about it. Add something under your tush like I've done here. Try a lower surface. Even the edge of your couch, something soft and cushiony is gonna work great as well. So we're gonna add our band. We're gonna slide our weight up right into the hip crease. You're gonna bend the knees and lift your hips up. If this is painful, feel free to add a towel or a little bit of a pad. And you're just gonna dip down, pushing weight through your heels and lifting straight up. Down and up, giving your butt a really good squeeze at the top. You're focusing on high hamstrings and your glutes pushing out against this band, weight through the heels, up and down nice and easy. And definitely don't let equipment limitations be your limiting factor. Use whatever you have. Heavy dumbbells, medicine balls, great too. And even better, a small child works excellent. No weight at all, no worries. Even just the band is plenty to get some great work from this exercise. Now let's do some good core activation. So we're gonna sit with your stability ball, medicine ball, or even a pillow. And all we're doing is resting the ball on our thighs, taking the hands, pulling the shoulders down away from the ears, and you're gonna push into the ball, press and hold for at least a count of 10. As we're trying to draw a belly button down toward the spine, close the abdomen in as tight as possible and drawing the rib cage down and closed as well. It works best on an exhale. It'll be easiest to find the muscles that way. Shoot for 10 of these, holding for about 10 seconds. Now let's add in some obliques. So we're gonna place the forearms on the ball we're gonna come out into a plank. Start in a modified plank and give this a test drive first. Pulling the shoulders down away from the ears. You're gonna slide out into a plank and we're working to stir the pot, bringing in the obliques, making a large circle, but still in a range that you can control. We're gonna go both directions, circular and out to in, all in efforts of getting the full core working for you. If you feel pretty good with that and you're feeling strong, go ahead and come up onto the toes. Just ensure that your elbows are pretty close to underneath your shoulders so that you're not here as this isn't going to do much for any of us. So come up this way, hold tight, belly buttons pulled to spine, tushes in the air, no sagging backs, and we're going to circle. Make sure you go both ways and aim for those obliques. After a day of sitting, your body's gonna thank you for turning on all of the important muscles to get us moving, staying healthy and injury free.